In this video, we look at the common arithmetic and relational operators. The arithmetic logic unit, or ALU, is an essential component of the central processing unit. It performs arithmetic operations, logical comparisons, and binary shifts. Let's start by looking at the arithmetic operations. First, we have plus, so that's obviously addition. So in here, where we've got seven plus two, x would be equal to nine. Next, we have the minus symbol, so that's subtraction. So in this example, seven minus two, x would equal five. Next, we have the asterisk symbol for multiplication. So here, seven times two, x would be equal to 14. Next, we have the division symbol, and that's a slash. So here we've got seven divided by two, and x therefore is equaling 3.5. So they're the four real standard operators, plus um, addition, subtraction, multiplication, and division. There's a few others you need to be familiar with in programming and for your exam. So next we have the explanation or powers to symbol. And on a standard keyboard, that's shift six. So here, seven, explanation two, x would equal 49. Next, we have two commands related to division on whole integer numbers. And the first is mod, which is short for modulus. So what does the equation seven mod two do? Well, it's what is the remainder once you fit the number on the right into the number on the left as many times as possible. So we can see here the number on the right was two. We fit that into the number on the left seven as many whole times as possible. Well, that's three times. And what we're left with, what remainder is one. So seven mod two is one. To go along with this mod command, we have div, and this is integer division. So seven div two, this is how many times does the number on the right fit into the number on the left? How many whole times? Well, as we saw from our previous example, two fits into seven, three whole times. So in this case, seven div two equals three. Okay, so now we move on to the common relational operators. The first of these is equals. So an example would be seven equals seven. It literally means equal to. Next, we have not equals to, and that's represented by an open and close angular brackets. So seven is not equal to five. Next, we have less than, as in five is less than seven. Next, we have less than or equal to, as in five is less than or equal to five. Then we've got greater than, as in seven is greater than five. And finally, to round off the set, we have greater than or equals to. So in our example, seven is greater than or equals to seven. Now, a couple of notes here. Firstly, different languages may use alternate symbols to represent these operators. For example, not equal to could be an exclamation mark for an equals, a greater and less than symbol, and a number of other varieties. Also note, the result of these operations is always of data type Boolean. When creating complex expressions, it's advisable to use parentheses or brackets to make the order of operations explicit.